Hello everyone and welcome to another news coolum video and uh, <laughs> I guess in a way it's sort of a um, plug side chat if you will. So I'm here at a uh, Recargo charging station and if you haven't heard of Recargo they're the parent company of PlugShare. That app that everybody uses to find chargers big and small regardless of who makes them or who maintains them. PlugShare, that community-based sort of app, their parent company is Recargo. Recargo has won a few grants for building fast charging infrastructure, things like the California Energy Commission grants. I'm here at the Prunedale Shopping Center in Salinas, California, at what's going to be their first public fast charger that they're opening up. You know, it's a little bit dark, but I'll do a quick walkthrough. In terms of the technical details, though, Jeff, I'll link to his article. He had already posted up an article. We still don't know, based on the press releases and some of the information that's come out, exactly what the battery backup system is for this location. But they're using four Tesla power packs, which should be a minimum of 400 kilowatt hours of energy with six DC fast chargers. I believe they said that they were rated at 175 kilowatts, but the units themselves, I believe, are capable of more than even that. It's six units and it's both Chatamo and CCS heads on each of the six chargers. This is a really good implementation. In my opinion, though, this is the best DC fast charging implementation that has been constructed in the United States to date. And it's nice to actually uh, take that qualifier off of public DC fast charging station because I, I know I'm going to catch maybe a little bit of flack for saying this, but I actually think this is a better implementation than anything that Tesla has done to this point. And you might be wondering why. Well, one, it's a public charger. But two, the battery backup system combined with the six chargers that are all 175 kilowatts at least, which makes them faster than the Tesla chargers. It provides a nice grid uh, tied system. And... Uh, the, with the battery backup, it makes it actually cost effective to run. And, you know, you can point to sites like Kettleman City that Tesla has, which are bigger, right? 40 stalls, 20 cabinets, all 145 kilowatts. But there's a point in time where it becomes too much. And I would rather see six chargers every... 30 to 40 miles, maybe 50 miles on a freeway, then 150 miles of nothing, then 40 chargers, and another 150 miles of nothing. So really what we're seeing here is I, I think why I, I actually consider it better than the Tesla implementations is it's right-sized. It's right-sized for the location. It's right-sized for the current population of electric vehicles. And the speed is appropriate. So no vehicle other than the Porsche Taken that's going to be released in the next year or two, or even three years probably, will charge at a faster rate than this charger can provide. So while you have chargers like Electrify America putting out their 350 kilowatt chargers, really there's no point in them until they're actually vehicles that can charge at that rate. But like I said, being six units, well, it's right about the size that you want with the current population of electric vehicles that as you pull in, you are reasonably sure that you're going to find a charging spot. It's right off the freeway, uh, right off Highway 101. It's far enough from major population centers that you're not going to be inundated by local drivers. And not only that, 
Recargo, they're talking about having the billing go through PlugShare, and I don't think they're doing any promotional free charging access. And as long as they don't do that, you're also not going to see these taken up like you do EVgo stations where they offer promotional free charging and anybody with a free charging account comes and uses them almost all the time. So really, these are going to be reserved for people who actually need them, when they need them, on long distance trips, right off the freeway. For me, on my regular 500 mile trip, this charger is going to be one of my regular stops. On my southbound trips, I will probably stop here almost every time. Now, it does make it a little awkward given how far Salinas is still from the next charger on Highway 101 in San Luis Obispo. And that one's not a great charger for fast trips either. But Recargo is building this as a network and a corridor. And that's what's important. So when I say this is the best DC fast charging site built in the United States up to this point, I'm looking at it as a site on its own without the rest of the network there to support it. But knowing that there is a network following this, knowing that Recargo is going to be building many more chargers along this route in proper distances, as long as they match this location's capabilities and are implemented in a very similar way, uh, this network along the California coast is going to be one of the strongest networks that we see up to this point. So Electrify America is doing good as a national coverage, but regionally, there's really going to be no reason to not use the Recargo network because they're implementing it with battery backups, grid tie battery there's no reason they're not going to be able to be very cost competitive with this as well. I think Recargo is a player to contend with in the public DC fast charging arena. And I think as ele electric vehicle owners, uh, we should be very, very thankful for these types of implementations. And they are going to facilitate long distance travel, uh, very fast long distance travel, just taking Highway 101 alone southbound, if they install one other charger like this, it will literally cut 45 minutes to an hour off of my regular southbound trip on Highway 101. All right, so there you have it. I'll probably swing by again, like I said, when these are actually live. Like I said, I know they're still testing and validating them, but in the meantime, Everything is looking good. All of the chargers are built. You know, things are things are getting a lot better really, really rapidly. Now, I know this is still a California perspective. For my southbound trips, this is going to be one of my uh, key stops moving forward. And just it alone is going to save, you know, 15, 20 minutes, maybe, maybe as much as 30 minutes off of my typical trip because I'll be able to stop here rather than driving about five miles off the freeway to get to the charger at Knob Hill in Salinas, uh, which also only has one CCS plug. And then from there, charging up to 68% or sometimes more than that, depending on the weather, so that I can make it to San Luis Obispo. Having the charger here right off the freeway means I can charge up really, really rapidly. And then as long as one more of these DC fast chargers goes in along Highway 101 north of San Luis Obispo, my trips on southbound are going to be much, much faster. And then DC fast charger by Electrify America in Dunnigan on Interstate 5 and uh, the Interstate 505 junction there, that's going to also re reduce my trip times northbound by at least 15 to 20 minutes so it's going to be uh good all the way around to uh to see these charger implementations go in like i said that's happening very very rapidly and i'll try to keep you all updated on it as it does i'd love to hear what you think what you think about the recargo uh network what you think about uh the implementation here at the prunedale shopping center i'll leave a link like I said, to Jeff's article about it, to the plug share entry, 
uh, keep an eye out for it if you take a 101 southbound, but I, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, there are some improvements that can be made to this site, but I think overall, uh, moving forward, if every new public DC fast charger that went in was put in in this configuration, I think it would be huge. <laughs> I mean, it would be a, a real big win for everybody moving forward. So charge point, EV go, green lots, even Electrify America, there, there are some notes to be taken from this. This, I think, is this is what happens when EV people design and build a fast charging implementation. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It helps me uh, go on these little adventures and find these uh, charging stations and uh, talk about them a little bit. And uh, thank you for watching.